I understand you ordering lava cake. I don't understand how you got it on your ass. <laughs> it's lava. Well, I don't see how we can take it back to the store. I hope you have a plan to pay for it. I do. You're gonna marry Candace's dad. <laughs> Will you stop it with that? He just showed me around the golf course. Yeah, and bought you a putter in the pro shop. <laughs> For old white guys, this is as good as a promise ring. He only bought it because I told him I always wanted to learn to play golf, which isn't even true. So you started on a lie. All the best relationships start that way. For the last time, I am not going out with Candace's father. This dress costs $1,200. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Delivery for Christy Plunkett's? It's happening, it's happening, it's happening! <laughs> read the card, read the card, read the card. Would you please calm down? <laughs> he wants to have dinner with me. Thank you, Jesus! <laughs> I'm not having dinner with him. We're not? Mom, he's Candace's father. He's gonna be Baxter's father-in-law and Roscoe's step-grandfather. And he's got five car dealerships, a full head of hair, and when he looks down, he can see his belt. Doesn't matter. I'm finally starting to get along with Candace, and she is, like it or not, a part of my son's life. What are you doing? I'm calling Fred to tell him I'm not gonna go out with him. No, you're not. Give me the phone. Hear me out. I don't need to hear you out. Give me. Yes. I get the Roscoe thing, but you deserve to be happy, too. Now think about it. You're pushing 40. Yeah. How many rich guys in golf carts are coming your way? Oh, screw it. If you turn that man down, I swear I will disown you. Oh, no. And lose all this? That's my point. 